fucking stupid. I fucking hate this. Fucking... <sighs> Alright, guys, getting live right now. Okay. Can you guys hear me all good? Let me see. So I'm going to bring up uh, investing.com. All right. And how's my audio? Let me see. I guess we'll wait till some people get on, but this is Money Money Monday, where we're going to go over important topics, uh, topics about business and money. This one's going to be about trading and this recent trading move in the uh, stock market and oil. So let's uh, get my stuff loaded and we'll get right to it. So if you guys are going to follow with me, jump on investing.com, open up crude oil and open up open up crude oil and open up where is it at uh the dow some huge moves down but remember in the markets nothing's done by accident this is all planned all right All right, let me see. Can you guys? All right, can you guys hear me pretty good? So guys, well, we're going to share this to the other groups out there. Get the Facebook open. But uh, while these are loading crude oil, make sure you guys go to the charts, the technical charts for crude oil, and have the technical chart for US 30. Oh, I'm sorry, the Dow. All right, guys, I got the charts open. Let's bring it up right here. US 30 and oil. Make sure you get the charts on full screen. And we're going to open up the news just to uh, break that down. Uh, give me a second. Oh, I reload this screen. I don't know what it is. My computer's running actually sluggish right now. A little slow for. It's always something dumb. Makes no sense. But. All right. All right, we're going to put those on full screen right here. So we're going to be looking at this gap right here. So this is Friday. This is Monday open or Sunday open if you want to put that like that. Let me get my keyboard, guys. Let's share it out. Money Mondays. So right now, you can see that it's attempting to see if it's going to fill. Now, oil made a massive move down, huge move down. Especially if you look at the uh, on the 15 minute, which check it out on the hourly. And it's typically it's looking like it's going to fill. Maybe do another small correction down, but overall, it seems like it's going to be heading back to the 53-43 level. Because remember, gaps don't always fill. They typically, 
they have a high percentage when they do, but uh, these charts typically don't fill as often as you think, especially if there's, if there's like a dead cat bounce. All right, so also open up uh, US 30 or JP or uh, the the index, uh, not index. Open up uh, the Dow on the 30 minutes or the, I'm sorry on the daily, and you can see this massive gap. Thousand pips drop, pretty crazy. Let me see. Oh, give me a second, guys. I'm doing some very slow computer. All right. Once I went live, everything just slowed down dramatically. Craziness. All right, give me one second. All right. So going over key things in the trading for uh, forex and the uh, oil so like if you look at this like if you see oil this is that high that, that recent high 54 57 if we, we kick it to the daily a little bit higher oil has been down trending a lot and it's been bouncing off this 49 dollar level up to here and it seems hopefully that it might fill up to here and either go on another bull run if it does go into bull run, I mean, it can go up pretty high. In my opinion, I believe that oil, if oil doesn't go up, all the other indexes won't go up. So I think that the banks are going to start funneling as much money as they can into these uh, asset classes, oil, so they can prop it up. Because the Fed is going to print as much as they can just to keep this bubble going. So guys, if you're on, just drop a comment below. I'm actually sharing this out with everything on Facebook. But I can almost guarantee that we're going to be looking at Dow 30,000 and this gap obviously filling to his 30,000. I don't know when, but it should be relatively soon because they have to prop up this bubble as much as they can to keep it going as long as possible. And also with that with that happening, that's going to be an increase in, um, uh, I'm sorry, a decrease in fun, uh, the Fed's fund rate. So they're gonna have to decrease interest rates because they're printing so much at a massive level, and and since these are being injected into the banks, the banks are doing fractional reserve lending and it's expanding at an even accelerated rate. So with this, all this stuff happening, and and crude oil to me is a lifeblood of all the markets. With the, if crude goes down, a lot of markets get affected. And if this happens, I think it's gonna be a massive move up with all that printing, of phony money. But we also check out two other things. We got commodities. We're looking at gold and silver. Now, and I'm not going to be talking about like ETF gold or ETN gold. That's like just paper gold. This is a future price over here. We're going to check out these right here. Let's let this load for a bit. Now, gold has been on that massive, massive movement up. Really, really high. And. And, uh. With gold doing this right here, uh, so I'm going to go to technical chart. Now, we're not going to be doing some technical analysis. I, I typically don't do that on these kind of charts. I take a lot of time. But what, what I'm definitely going to do is go on the fundamental basis of why gold and silver are going to be increasing in prices, uh, in price, just because, one, we're printing on a massive scale. This is quantitative easing number four, and then we're going to have five and six and seven and helicopter money. So let's kick it to the daily for silver and kick it to the daily for oil. Let me start for gold. All right, give me one second, guys. Uh, oil. Dow, gold, and silver. All 
All right. So we got that massive movement up. Look at oil. I mean, it's, it might be. I mean, so look at gold. Maybe tracing down a little bit. That's not a big issue. If you're like, if you're buying gold physically, like I think everyone should be buying gold physically. This should not scare you. Any little downtrend, a little or retracement, because the over all, all move is up, in my opinion. Same thing for silver. Let's kick silver to the monthly. I think silver is just taking its time a little bit more. The big institutions have not entered in yet. Because I can't wait for silver. Because right now, the, if we look at the gold-silver ratio, it is doing almost at, what, 90? So we got, what is it? Spot price of, what's gold spot right here for our gold futures price? Let's see. It's 1655.65 divided by 18.547. Is at 89, the gold silver ratio. So that's insane. So a lot of uh, silver investors are going to be start pumping money into it as fast as possible. And I'm not saying you guys what to do, but that's something that I'm interested in doing because I think it'd be a whole lot better gain. I think gold will do good, but I think silver will outperform it by percentage by a whole lot more. All right, let's see. Ah. But what I do think is oil will do a temporary high like it did last year. How from October to December it went straight up from here. Not straight up. I want to typically up to December and then get mashed down. Smashed down. It might do that exact same move and then go to the lower lows. And we'll kick oil to the monthly now. All right. We got oil in the monthly. Let me fix the chart so it looks a lot better. Give me a second. Like, should oil hold this position? Because, like, if you look at oil in the monthly, like, it is barely holding on to this support level. Barely. All right, and if it gets pushed down, it's going to get punished all the way down to 45. And that's a lot of pits for people who want to short. But if oil goes down... I would say all the indices will go down and this and the recovery might not happen in this bubble. Cuz we're in a, I, if you guys have not known if you guys watch my other cha watch my channel uh, we are in the biggest mass the biggest largest bubble ever. And taking advantage of it as much as we can is it be to me is the best well, is the biggest benefit especially for this month. I mean, this month is almost over with. We might spike up a little bit and head for these higher highs again. This might. All right, let's see. What else we got here? We got the Dow. And the Dow, if we just, even if we zoom into like the four hour, it seems like it's slowing down now. Just a little bit, but it just seems like it's a straight down from there. Like, that's crazy. But if we're going to Dow 30,000, and I think it's, it's a good location for it to go before the bubble ends or if it hyperinflates and goes even higher. Yeah. Give me one second. Let me see who's on. All right, guys, if you guys got any questions or comments, please drop them below. Uh, tell me just what you guys think. Let me see. Give me one second, guys, while I type this in. Over key details. All right, save. So, all right, let's go back to oil. So, oil, if it holds this position, and I mean, it's going to take a lot to hold it, then we can definitely see it going back to the maybe the 60s. And, and if it goes to the 70s, that would be absolutely crazy because a lot of my stocks. And uh, this, my stocks and my ETFs are all down right now, like getting really, really hurt. And I don't know if that's the same thing for you guys, but it's, it seems like it might be catching a bid to go higher. Uh, it, to me, it doesn't matter where the market goes. Honestly, it doesn't matter. But 
for for this part because if you're hedging if you're pretty much uh putting your money into gold and silver the real stuff then this paper stuff doesn't matter so much because at the end you're gonna win in my opinion so like this right here these gaps and stuff oh man this is such huge manipulation like we may fall a little bit but I think we'll build up just like this area right here and take off again to so hit that Dow 30,000 like a new high and that will probably be the high for the year maybe or well, this is the high but if you think about shorting it, it shorting the Dow is a to me really difficult because it has such harsh like big swings like you're talking a thousand pips down okay it can go 500 pips up and knock out your trade so you're talking about you need huge stops everything about shorting it and if you're going long gold I mean gold long you're gonna be hit with a swap fee so understand if you're going long-term trading you might get hit with a lot of fees that might uh, hinder your trading especially if it goes flat if it goes like oh when uh, when uh, when uh, gold goes flat it really slows everything down Gosh, and you can get stuck in that trade, and it's. I just tell like it's it, it, going long on FX is really hard, uh, especially when you have expensive fees. But you know, if you get it at the right time, it can be definitely beneficial for you. All right, let's see. You check the gold in the silver. So silver has, to me, has the largest gain to go. Uh, it has so much room for growth, especially when I was making videos around this area here, the fourteen dollar level. That's why I did the biggest buys down here, and to head up. Because when I was uh, investing in silver these years back, they were telling that you know the speculation that there's going to be silver ten dollars, and for silver precious metals investors, we thought I think I think that's a beautiful day. I was just I get to buy at a cheap discount, like huge cheap discount. All right, give me one second over here. Let me see. So this might be a good opportunity, you guys, to if you guys want to buy precious metals, physically you can go to my website, AndreJMcClendon.com. Click on the gold and silver. You'll see two giant uh, uh, silver eagles and a gold uh, 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 gold eagle. Let me show you how it looks. Here's my website. Please check it out, guys. A lot of information about gold and silver. And if you figure out, if you can find some more information about that, you guys can click here. Uh, you got to sign in. Just be a subscriber. But if you become a subscriber, a bunch of information. Let me log in onto a different screen. And I'll show you guys. Give me one second. One second. But um, uh, I do forex trading. When it comes to, uh, if you guys want to learn about forex or stock trading, I have live sessions that uh, that I do. So if you guys want to get on them, just DM me below or drop a comment or hit me up on Facebook, and we can get into that on how the details and how you can get on. I'll give me one second. All right, All right we are here. Let's see. But either way, still silver, still cheap. I think silver, even buying right now. All right, so here, guys, got to load it right here. So when you buy, I have a video guide and what to do to protect yourself when buying gold and silver to make sure you're buying the right stuff. All you gotta do is click on that red uh, bar. Uh, the red thing goes up, and how to test if your gold and silver is real. This, I, I would say, watch it just to prepare yourself. You don't want to be in a position where it's. Uh, negative effect of you and here's all the information I have preloaded like gold silver ratio federal funds rate gold to oil ratio gold to Dow uh, Dow to gold ratio hundred year price you know this is some a lot of important stuff you guys want to go through that can help prepare yourself and they also looking for books just click over here you can find some information on gold and silver books or uh, figure out more stuff about that but uh, that's my website uh, check it out if you can yeah, let's go back back to oil now oil right now is actually going flat.
because we are just entering in the UK time time zone. It's like 5:30 a.m. over there. Uh, let me see. So, oh man, it's such a Inventing.com is a little bit difficult to use sometimes. I would use MetaTrader, but nah, I'm good. MetaTrader makes little things a little bit harder. Okay, cool. So here it is on the four hour. Little gap right there, huge gap down. Alright, we're going to go to that hour. So right now we're consolidating, slowing down. We're seeing probably some buyers coming in here, but you know, typically the markets do the opposite of what everyone wants to do. Everyone goes long, the banks take it short, and vice versa. So if you guys are going to be watching that, be careful, because uh, the banks are in the business of taking your money. All right, give me one second. I hit save. All right. So, I mean, if we do for like projection wise, and this is like I just said, like I think oil is going higher, especially for this week. I don't know how it's going to be for the rest of the month or the months ahead. I mean, as a speculation, I think oil overall is going to be up because without oil pumping up the markets, it's then it's just going to go ahead everything down, but. We might go a little bit lower, maybe fifty percent of this move, and then on on uh, U.S. session or U.K. session starting, might bring us back to here, but ultimately all the way up to fill this gap. But I'm not giving you guys trading advice. This is what I'm, I'm saying. What I think. I'm not telling you guys what to do with your money. Do what you do with your own money. Okay. And this is Money Mon Money Monday. Just give, give, give you guys a perspective on what uh, I think is going on. All right, let me see where's Facebook at. All right, so look at the Dow Jones. Now the Dow may not recover as fast. It might have an, a couple more down days. I think overall it's going to recover, but you know it might swoop down, take out even some more of these lows, and knock out more traders because. If traders are trying to fill right now, I think the banks are gonna be like, okay, everyone's trying to f make this you know, gap fill. Let's take, take a, keep on taking it lower and lower until it hurts, like till they can't handle it no more. Like, look at that, Just boom down. I mean, you, I mean, I don't usually use volume. I don't use volume at all, like at all when it comes to the stocks. Or anything. No, only for stocks, not for uh, forex or something like that. Give me one second. Okay. So <clears throat> this should fill maybe next couple days, but there might be a huge volatility down here. So that might stop you out. You might want to do a buy stop at a current location, like right here above here a buy stop right here at the 28244 I might be looking at doing something like that I don't want to catch anything down here it may, it may be too sporadic and go down too much but it might be nice if it catches a, a go down here and it catches it back here goes to this top breaks through and heads up to higher highs so that's why I, I, a lot of my in my classes I teach people how to use pinning orders to help protect yourself so you guys are not getting massacred or getting beat up on the wrong moves You know, you don't want to be taking the wrong side, or you're correct in the direction it's going to be up, but not in the right time frame. So you have a 100 pip stop, and a 100 pip stop is not big enough on this US 30, so you get kind of massacred on it. Let me see what else we got. Gold, I mean, gold long. That's all I'm doing, gold long. Same thing for silver. How long has this video been going? Let me see. Not too long. All right, so let's look at some news to help check out things. So if you want to go to my website, go to here. Uh, you can go to. Once you make a free account, you can set up a free account. I got I got pretty much links to everything on here, set out.
Uh, trading calendar. Here we go. Oh, wrong one. Give me a second. Trading news. So I use uh, FX. I mean, like Forex Factory. So let's see what some major news that might, you know, the banks might use as a catalyst to up to up the markets. Let's see. Where are we at? Do you guys see that green check? Oh, here we are. So we get the CB Consumer Confidence. We got New Zealand, big news. Australian, AUD, big news. CAD. That's it. Not big. That's for the dollar. I know the week following. Let me see. Yeah, one more week left of here, so we got to see how we can, what we can do. G20 meetings. So it's not n nothing too big for news, especially for the dollar. So I I, I want to see when the banks want to inject this capital to make it go up. I mean, we get gas storage. Negative. Uh, we'll see where oil goes. Hopefully higher. If not, that's whatever. Doesn't really matter. But stocks have been crushed on that. And if we go to here, uh, go to over here, I think cryptocurrency uh, it has been getting a little 2% down. Too, it's not too bad. It might be a good time to buy. Uh, if you're uh, hodling uh, pr uh, cryptocurrency, this is a good time to always buy, especially when it's down. But for these stock guys, like the dollar, still almost at 100 we just got to see how this week prevail, uh, takes out. So, guys, let me see. That is Monday Mondays. If you guys got any questions or comments, please uh, direct them to me later on on, on, on the on my Facebook or on the, the chat. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for uh, making it through this time. And I'll see you. Have a wonderful day.